Hello, uh, welcome to the Liam Rush Show once again. Uh, this is going to be my most of the space movies of 2020. Now, I have done this video before, but when I looked at how it was edited, it was bit like, it went all over the place. So I'm doing it again now. This one's going to be a bit different because I've thought about it a lot more since. Um. There's still going to be some of the same films that I had in my previous one for this year. Um, but some of them are going to be different. Some of them haven't been in this um, list before, or they've been higher, or they've been lower. So, yeah, let's get to it. Um, coming to number 20 is Last Night in Soho. Now, I had this a lot higher last time. Uh, not a lot higher, but it was higher. Um. It's just, like, I'm a big fan of Edgar Wright, but because I don't know the story, it's, uh, I kind of don't know what to make of it, but it's in there, it's at number 20. Let's get to number 19, uh, Top of Maverick. Now, when I first did this, this wasn't at all in it. Um, but thinking about it, I am um, actually looking forward to it. I'm just not a big fan of the first one, but I am intrigued about it. Um. Yeah, I wish it was higher. I really do because you know it deserves to be. It's just not for me. Um, coming number eighteen is a Quiet Place Part Two, and um, like I really enjoyed the first one. Maybe not as much as like other people did, but I'm intrigued to see where they go with a sequel. And yeah. That, it's at number 18, number 17 is so. Now, this was high last time. But looking back on it, it's just other films I'm looking forward to a lot more. I'm, I've thought about them a lot more. So, yeah, Souls at number 17. Probably be good. Pixar, I'm never doing like really great films. A couple of, you know, not bad films, but just not to a Pixar standard. Hopefully this will be. Coming up 16 and then Practical Jokers the movie now. I used to watch this a lot. Um if you've seen them live. Really enjoyed that. Um I haven't watched it in a while, but I'm interested to see what to do as a movie. I don't even know if we're getting it in England, but yeah. That's at number sixteen. Number fifteen is the SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. Now I'm sh uh, like growing up, I was a big um, SpongeBob fan. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much why it's on this list. Um, coming to fourteen is Scoob, which is like a Scooby Doo film. I'm growing up, I was a big Scooby Doo fan. Um, hate the fact that Scooby Doo controlled properly in this when I saw the trailer. Yeah, it was a bit off putting, but yeah. It's not made the list. Uh, coming on 30, and it's not a third joke now. This was in my top 10 um, last time. Um, yeah. But looking back on them, it's just more films that I'm looking forward to um, more than this one. Um, yeah. It looks really good, though. Um, not really good, but it, it looks funny. Um, phone number. 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Is the Conrad Tell them we do it now? This one was at number 20. But looking back on it, um, thinking about it more, I, I'm really anticipating this because I'm a big fan of this series for the most part. Um, especially for the Conrad films and Annabelle Creation. But yeah, um, coming to number 11, and it's the other. Tenay, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm just a big Christopher Nolan fan, and uh, John David Washington's in it, who like I really liked in uh, Black Clansman. So yeah, why that number eleven? At number ten is Halloween Kills. Now, I, once I'm a big fan of this franchise, I'm a big fan of the like the very first one and the latest one. 
that's yeah that's enough for me to have it in my top 10 coming number 9 is Ghostbusters Afterlife now I'm a big fan of the very first Ghostbusters didn't mind Ghostbusters 2 I know a lot of people hate that but I didn't mind it and the latest Ghostbusters the female um, Ghostbusters I pretty pretty like that too um, yeah and I'm glad to see the, like, the original cast back for Hal Dramas um, but you know, rest in peace. Um, yeah, I'm real forward to this one. Coming at number eight is Free Guy. Now I am looking forward to this one. I'm a big fan of Ryan Reynolds. It's just the ones above it. Just you know, um, have more. You know, I have more of a connection to it, I think. Um, but yeah, I am really forward to Free Guy. It looks re- really great. Um, if it w- I don't know if it will be, but yeah. Coming in number seven is The New Mutants. And I'm a big fan of the X-Men series. I didn't know if this film was going to be made. But yeah. Uh, I didn't know if Disney would do a horror film. But I am really intrigued by this. Uh, yeah. Coming at number six is Birds of Prey. Um, big fan of Margot Robbie Qu- as Harley Quinn. Um, I feel like she needs a better movie than the Suicide Squad to be Harley Quinn in. Maybe this can be it. I'm not sure. And Ian McGregor playing a villain. Never seen him as a villain before. But yeah, I am really intrigued by this film. Really look forward to watching it. Coming in, number five is Black Widow. Uh, this was, like, only made its way into the top ten the first time. Now, like, thinking about it, I am looking forward to it. I feel it's a bit late to be doing it, but, you know, you got Scott Johansson as Black Widow, Franz Pune, who was at the Great 2019, and David Harbour as well. So, yeah, number five for Black Widow. Coming to number four is No Time to Die. And once I have a massive James Bond fan, but you know, I'm a big fan of um, GoldenEye, uh, Casino Royale, Skyfall. Um, and the trailer for this looked amazing, so yeah, that, this has to be on the list. Coming up three is Bad Boys for Life. And like, I know, maybe not much of it, I think people would have this on it, but I am a fan of the first two, and the trailer for this looked hilarious, so, yeah, so, no freak about much life, coming number two is Wonder Woman, 1984, now I am a massive fan of the first Wonder Woman film, Gal Gadot as, <sighs> sorry, uh, as, um, Wonder Woman is great, and yeah, this I'm just really looking forward to watching Wonder Woman 1984 at number two. Coming at number one is Fast and Furious 9. Now, I didn't think this would be this high. I knew it would be on the list, I had a feeling it would be on the list, but when I thought about it, this just, I'm a big fan of this, this franchise, mostly since Fast and Furious 5. Um, there's only two films on this franchise I don't like Take Your Drift and the fourth one but yeah I am like, I am massive looking forward to this one I think with no star films as well and you know not a major um, MCU film because I'm not really sure about the Eternals yeah. um, I'm sure this will be on the list if like, I knew it way and you know, Black Widow, I don't think it was ever going to be this high because, you know, in my opinion, it's too late to be doing it, but that's at number five. Um, so, Fresh Choice 9 and number one, yeah. Just, I'm just a bit disappointed that uh, The Rock's not in it. Thought with The Rock and John Cena, that would be cool because I'm, you know, I'm a wrestling fan. But yeah, we haven't got The Rock, we've got John Cena, and that's good enough. 
So, yeah, this has been my most anticipated moves of 2020. Now, please let me know what your top 20 would be. Could be potentially some great moves coming off this year. Um, probably some great moves I even I don't even know about. Some you know great dramas. Usually just sneak up on me. You know you know anticipating them and then yeah about them you don't see them and then they're great. Yeah, but you know that doesn't mean none of these will be great. Let me know. Please like and subscribe and keep watching movies.